Inshallah, we'll now go to the mic on the left-hand side for the brothers. Go ahead with your question, brother. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rajesh and I'm from IT profession. My question is, why a religion for a peace? Why a religion? Yeah, why do we need a religion? Like Islam, you're, you're preaching Islam. Brother asked a very good question. That why do you need a religion? Like Islam or any other religion? Brother, if you understand what is the meaning of religion? Religion, according to Oxford Dictionary, means a belief in a superhuman controlling power, a personal god or gods that deserve worship. In Islam, the Arabic word used is deen. Deen in Islam means a way of life. So you ask me the question that why do you require a way of life? And why do you require to understand, as Oxford Dictionary says, religion means believing in God. So why do we have to understand God? The reason is that, brother, normally when you get a machine, if you get a machine, maybe a complicated machine, along with it, you get an instruction manual. I'm asking the question, why do you require the instruction manual? Why? Why, brother? To understand. To understand, because you don't know the machine. If you allow me to call the human being the machine, you'll have to agree it is the most complicated machine on the face of the earth. So don't you think this requires an instruction manual? The last and final instruction manual for the human being, it is the glorious Quran. Like how you have the instruction manual written by the producer of that equipment or the manufacturer or the inventor. Our manufacturer, our producer, our creator is Almighty God. So he knows what is best for the human being. So based on this, Almighty God has given the rules and regulations. For example, when you buy a DVD player, it tells you if you want to play the DVD, insert the DVD, press the play button. If you want to fast forward, press the FF button. If you want to skip, press the skip button. If you want to stop, press the stop button. Don't drop it from a height, it will get damaged. Don't immerse it in water, it will get spoiled. There's an instruction manual. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the last and final instruction manual, the glorious Quran, has written the do's and don'ts for the human being. And Almighty God has only sent one religion. Allah says clearly in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19, in Nadina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. But by the passage of time, whenever Almighty God sent an instruction manual, the manual in passage of time, it changed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that the human beings may not be able to grasp the complete message of the Quran as is mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of John chapter 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that 1400 years ago, at this time, now the human beings can grasp the last and final message. So Islam came in its complete form 1400 years ago, and the last and final revelation is the Quran. All the previous revelations, the basic message was the same, believing in one God, worshipping the true God, who does not have any image, doesn't have any idol, you have to prostrate, the basic message was the same. But because there were changes in the scriptures, Almighty God revealed the last and final revelation in the Quran. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hijr, chapter 15, verse number 9, that I have revealed the Quran and I will guard from corruption. Now, because this is the last and final revelation, Allah takes it upon himself that he will guard it from any corruption. So that's the reason today all the human beings in the world should follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and last and final message, the glorious Quran. All the scriptures that came before, since they were time-bound, they were meant only for a particular group of people, they were not meant for the whole of humanity, and the message was supposed to be followed till the new message came. Allah didn't require to preserve that message. When the last and final revelation was revealed, and since no other revelation is going to come, 
Allah takes it upon himself to preserve it. And it's not only meant for the Muslims or the Arabs, it's meant for the whole of humanity, irrespective of whether they are staying in Dubai, India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, America, UK, Canada, all the human beings in the world should follow the last and final revelation and the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.